Okay, so here's the main control panel. Put it on. Tells your water status. Caravan battery. And the vehicle battery. Uh, the caravan has a hundred and something watt solar panel on the roof. So if the battery goes low at night, it's normally charged first thing by the morning. Water pump there. I will leave that on and it keeps it prime for toilet use and stuff. I would also leave the inside lights on too. This button is for the awning light for the outside. And just the inside temperature. Up here as well you've also got uh, the controls for the bed. Lowers the main down bed. When you load the bed, you need to take this cushion off so the bed comes down to this line here. And that's your double bed. Clips on there to access a double bed. Okay. Open the bed up. Um, just after you hear it hit the roof. Stop it. That gentle squeeze. And here you've got your key uh, hub. Uh, start it. Spare gas is there. You've got your oven here. Small oven. The grill pan removed for less noise when traveling. Um, push and turn to the right for the grill, there's a lighter, push and turn to the left for the oven, small oven heats up very quickly, you got to keep your eye on it. Underneath the oven, you've got some, some spare toilet rolls, you've got uh, valves for turning off, heating, oven, hob and the boiler if there's any safety issues uh, next to the sink you should have your fresh cutlery um, between each plate there'll be a tissue or a napkin the reason for that is as you're moving everything's moving slightly so everything will get scratched. These units up here, you push the handle, you pull the handle together and it operates a lock to go. So you've got to squeeze and then pull. Uh, up here you find handy kitchen things, draining board, pans here, uh, Please dump the pans on top of each other, put it in between them. Again, the movement will scratch them. Um, plenty of pounds for cooking and everything. In this cupboard here, there's pull out wine glasses if you're in a liquid for washing up. If you're in a campsite and you're plugged in, you can use a toaster. Uh, cups and cutlery there. There is two 40 volt sockets throughout the van. There's one here, one down there. The two 40 volt sockets work when you're plugged in. 
there will be a 120 watt inverter for use for charging laptops and stuff like that. Uh, the 12, 240 volts normally only works off the plug in at the campsite. The inverter can be plugged into the 12 volt socket when you're driving. Or there's also a 12 volt socket here for powering the TV. You could you could plug the inverter into this socket. It, this socket has 240 here. This uh, TV TV 12 volts works off the light circuit, which is why I advise you leave it on all the time. You could work your uh, inverter off that. Above the TV, they're covered with some DVDs and cellar tape, first aid kits, and handy things that you might need. More gas, super glue tape, more for telly there. Now, Next to next next to the sink, you have in here. You've got a game companion. You've got a few panels for making the seats longer or uh, expanding what's there. If you have to sleep six. At the moment, we have the aerial on a board. If your picture is not clear or pixelated, it could be that you need to push up the area or turn it around. Um, later on in the year, I'm hoping to get our aerial fitted, which will be omnidirectional. You shouldn't have to adjust it. But if if you have this rod in the vehicle at the time, you could get a pixelated picture because the area is too low or pointing in the wrong direction. In the lower drawer here you have extra cooking items. A kettle, a grill pan, chalk board. On the back you've got your fuse box. If there's any problems with that. Down here in the wallet you've got uh, laminates for the table and the heating and everything that you might forget. Quick quick idea in laminate forum. Here you have a small cover here for extras. You've got a full size uh, fridge freezer here. The ice box at the top, and the bottom of it is we're really not cool enough for anything more than uh, water. Um, we've had milk in here, and it it's not cool enough to keep milk fresh. Turn on the turn, turn on the gas fridge by pressing this button. And you can toggle through the settings. Uh, if you leave it on A for auto, it'll go to 12 volt when you're driving, and it'll switch to gas when you stop. You can hold in the grey button for two seconds, and you can choose and you know, toggle through the items. Press again. And you can change the strength. Um, normally, that's fired, isn't it? Normally, I find two or three to be adequate for most for most of the year and clear button again we said it and it's working on the gas at the moment because we're stationary 
I'll switch that off. Okay, this is show toilet. Um, this is for standing in the shower with shoes, so you won't crack the base. When you're having a shower, this can be taken out and moved to the side. The shower scheme here can come across here to, to seal up here. All magnetized. It's a bit tight, but uh, the show itself. The show itself. You pull it out, and sometimes if you put it up on the bar of the top, the pressure is not so good. So uh, basically, what I do is hand shower. Quick, quick wash. Because it's only 10 litres of hot water, uh, you've got to use this sparingly and think of the others that might want a quick wash as well. The toilet has my spare toilet rolls in there. There's uh, soap and stuff, the sink, there should be uh, fresh towels in the cupboard above the toilet. The toilet itself, because you've uh, primed the water pump, it should be on. Just flush, do, do your business. Um, I would, I would have flush, I would throw in some paper, do your business, flush again, and then at the side here, there's a lever, and um, when you, that then drops it into the cassette toilet, you then got to put the lever back till it clicks. If it doesn't click, you won't be able to pull out the cassette cassette toilet to empty it so you've got to check that's right back forward to flush it and then push it right back if this light down here is flashing this means that you get about 80 percent full uh, always advisable to use outside toilets as much as possible to save yourself the inconvenience of insert a full toilet at the end of the night so all the beds should have a duvet on them. There will be two singles and a double duvet here. If there's more than four occupants, then you might want to ask we can give you some sleeping bags with kids or anything. And then from the inside here, you can access the garage. Uh, you can store some luggage in here. This bed is rated to about 90 kilogram, the bottom one. Uh, ideal for kids or lighter people. Top bunk is about 200 kilo, and the double bed is about 250 kilo. When you're driving, when you're driving, these blinds will not be closed for the morning sunlight. It can be quite hot. If you drive with these closed, the vibrations will pop them out and they'll belly down and you have to push them all back in. So when you're driving, have these open and the skylight shut. Same with the front. The front skylight should be shut when driving and the blinds open. Whenever you stop, I would open as many windows as you feel comfortable with because uh, 
it can get quite humid in a small space. If you have any dogs, dogs or pets, uh, they need plenty of space. Next, I need to show you the table. Show the heating, the, the heating. All right, around here. Okay, when you're driving, the heating should be at the zero or three o'clock. When you stop, not the heating on, I would turn it down to 60 with the heating and the water sign. That means that the combi boiler will kick into action and blow warm air around the cabin. Just hear the motor there. And then after about 20-30 seconds, the flame will come on to start the heating the, the water too. After about 30 minutes, the boiler will just underneath this seat here. The ten liter boiler will be hot enough and it'll uh, there'll be a noise from the gas it'll pshh, when it's boiled and that water stays hot for about uh, 14 to 20 hours so if it's hot at night it'll be hot enough for a shower in the morning When you, if you drive off with it in that position, the pilot flame will blow out and you'll get a gas smell, like an egg smell in the vehicle and you don't want to stop next to a smoker and blow the place up. So when you're driving, you've got to put it back to zero to switch it off. You don't have to turn off the gas or anything, you just put the switch back to zero three o'clock when driving. That's your fine. Um, above here you've got your blinds for the front window. You see the blinds for the side window. They, they these stick on the glass by suction if you try to pull them off too too strongly they can break so I advise me to take them off the window in the morning to put your hand up the side and prise them off from the back up here you've also got a USB socket just linked to the internal light circuit so I would always advise you leave the lights on all the time they are low power and you've got a solar panel on the roof. That socket can charge phones through the night. And I think the last thing I'll show you is the table. This is a quick show of the table top. So on the table now, there's a, there's a few toggles. There's a, there's a laminate to show how to use this. This is for turning it round, left and right. This one here is for back and forth, and slide out, round. This one here is, you pull this aside and give a strong push down to get the table down. I'll have to fix that later. I think that's it. Thank you.